Bingeaholics, it's time for another honest opinion recommendation. Would have gotten them all if they weren't so fast. They're not moving, Anya. If you're new to the channel, I'm Mr. Roger Review. I give honest opinions that you can trust. I was able to get my hands on the early show on the Spy Family, Code White. Now, the movie did release in Japan last December, but it'll be released in the States in sub and dub this weekend, April 19th. If you don't know about Spy Family or you never heard of Spy Family, let me break it down for you. Spy Family is about a spy who puts together a fake family in order to infiltrate a prestigious school so he can get to his target. First, he picks up a child from an orphanage named Anya. Now, Anya is a telepath. She's able to read minds, and that's how she was able to trick him into picking her. She also doesn't tell him that she can read minds, making this already one of the best spy thrillers of all time. In order to make the facade even more convincing, he goes and picks up a lady that he thinks can be the perfect wife. Unknown to him, she's a deadly assassin. Yeah, that ultimate spy thriller just went up a couple notches. They eventually get a family pet, a dog, and to keep up with the theme, he also has a secret. He can see the future. Yes. He can see the future. The dad's secret agent name is Twilight, but he's going by Lloyd for the family. Mom's family name is Yor, but in the streets, she's Thorn Princess because she be poking motherfuckers. And since all the family members are keeping their secret, this causes a lot of intense moments, hilarious shenanigans, some good fight sequences. Listen, Thorn Princess be throwing up them hands. She's kind of like the Chung Lee of the series, while Lloyd is the 007 James Bond character, and Anya is just the cute, adorable child that just gets away with anything. Bond just be trying to survive because if you know about yours cooking, that shit is deadly. The movie is peak spy family shenanigans. It is hilarious, it's funny, it's action packed, the animation is gorgeous, and it has a really dope story. I, I fuck with it, it's very unique to the spy family universe. Anya is cranked up to 10, Yor is losing her goddamn mind on a situation that she totally created on some false information from some terrible people. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but just know it is a situation that you can see happen in everyday relationships. I watched it in dub because I was a little tired. I didn't feel like reading and I gotta say, I'm very impressed. I've always watched the series in sub, so going into the dub version, I was a little nervous, but I was happy to say it is a phenomenal dub. It has some of the best voice actors on this one, especially the voice of Von Vorenheim from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, John Swayze. John Swayze is an incredible voice actor who's had a great career. He's voiced the general in this one and he did not disappoint and a tad bit menacing not too much but a tad bit he was a decent villain that got his point across the visuals of the movie is stunning like i said the action was really good but the camera movement of how they did certain shots was just amazing i felt like i was really watching a movie quality anime it's definitely worth sitting in the theaters watching and for the ones who never watched spy family don't worry it does a great job filling you guys in and it doesn't bother the main storyline at all so you can watch this to judge if you want to pick up the series or not now the spy family series itself is funny as hell it's action-packed it has some good characters and some great adorable moments spy family cold white is in theaters this friday please go check it out it has some violence in it so if you want to take your kids just be wary of that it's not over the top stuff but there is some blood i would definitely take my kids my daughter fell in love with anya when she saw her for the first time i can see the sparkle in her eye and i'm like you know what he's probably gonna start acting like anya in a little bit which it's not a bad thing, but she can't read minds, so I gotta keep an eye on her now. Just wanna give a huge shout out to 504 PR and Sony and Crunchyroll for sending this link out to me. Really appreciate that. For my bingeaholics, until the next review, remember, you can trust my opinions. Y'all have a good one. Peace.